hey, this is our second interview. We're talking with Manny and Debbie. They have the same model coach I do. Here are all the specs. We're going to tour the inside of their coach, and then we're going to do the interview. Enjoy. So here we are at the entertainment center, as promised. And basically, it's pretty much self-explanatory. That's nice. It makes it feel like a house in here. Yes, it does. It does. You know, and especially, I like the track lighting above the TV. Yeah. That yeah. is so nice. I put in a couple of automatic fans, okay. you know, with temperature control so that they go on and off like that, and rain sensor and all that. Junk. Yeah. Those are little upgrades that I've done myself just to go ahead and make it more comfortable. Yeah, it, this really looks amazing compared to what you guys come see mine. You'll be like, uh oh, it's been beat up. <laughs> <laughs> but that's okay. It gets us out. But yours is amazing. This looks so nice. I like the, the couch. Yeah, you did a good job. You know, job. the bed and all that. It's the normal thing. I'm sure yeah. this has the double sink over there mm -hmm. with this thing here. Yeah, that there. thing I can't with my big belly. It's hard to get up the. <laughs> I had a problem. <laughs> How about the fridge? Same, the same, same fridge. Same, same size fridge. Well, one thing I did do, and there's this came here with this and this black panels. Oh, okay. Just to match this here. Okay, the microwave. I didn't like the black panels, so I went ahead and ordered these panels and got this panels instead, so that it would match the wood better. Yeah, it, ours is that color too. And another upgrade I did was I found a clock in the, at Walmart. And I liked it, and the wood almost matches a hundred percent. It's it's cool, and, and it, it lays right those, in there. Yeah, it looks really. It's one yeah. of those atomic watch uh, clock things. Mm -hmm. So it's always you know with temperature inside and out and all that. Yeah, that caught my eye as soon as you walked. So this, that's what's nice about it. This I usually put the um, that paper. Okay. I bought the special shades for it because mm -hmm. if it sits out in the sun, I don't want the sun to burn the shades. Yeah, it comes so I through have these that windows. On all the windows. Yeah. Plus no. the cover. Especially with ours because the, these are two huge windows. Yeah. And it, it nice just comes. When you yeah. open the bottom and it's, you know, so that makes it very. Oh, good. yeah. And then you were talking about the bathroom and all those things also. Oh. I like your bedspread. <laughs> That's cool. That was one of those uh, Wyoming things. And then, and then look at the, I like, what I like are the, that's a nice touch. The reading lights? Yeah. How did you get those right there? It came with that. It did? It came with it. Okay. Because we don't have that. We have the lights up, tucked up underneath. Yeah, no. This one came with those lights there. Okay. Right? Another addition I put on in here. Oh, okay. A little TV. So you can watch TV. Yeah, yeah. From the bed. There you go. You know, you know how do I? Mm -hmm. Oh, I gotta go to bed and all that. Let's watch a movie there. You know, with remote. There you go. Yeah, I. We don't have a TV in our back bedroom. Yeah. And then that window there, the big closet, and you know, back here. Yeah. So that basically makes it. Yeah, and I like the little the little nightstands are nice on the yeah. side. And they, I had an inverter installed on this. Okay. So that I would have house current right. all the time. Mm -hmm. and so they put basically all the plugs. Oh, they the all work off the inverter? Yeah, see, oh, wow. you charge the phones and everything. Yeah, see, we don't, we don't have so that. So that makes it nice because then you can go ahead and... Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you got, in the, you got, I love these blinds. Yeah. They're so nice. You did such a good nice job. Ones, right? Yeah, they, we we have, our, our blinds are, well, let's, you mind if I take a peek? No, 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 please. Cool. I don't want to be. Yep. See what I was telling you about the shower. I'm not that tall. Right. And I've had this guy here. You got to see this guy because <laughs> if you remember. Oh, that's funny. You know, Mr. <laughs> Spin here was the announcing guy for a lot of insurance companies, you know, and they yeah. test dummies basically is what they were called. I was able to get hold of this back in 1976, 77 when they were doing airbag testing. And so I kept it with me, and he goes with me, and I usually put it out the back window, and people will look at him. How funny. <laughs> you know? so. That's awesome. That is cool. It's spin the dummy. Yeah, the only thing that I don't like about ours is that step. 
this clip here. Can yeah, it's here? like five miles when you're trying to come out of the shower. It feels like, you know, it's it's a Grand Canyon down there. Yeah, but it makes you think of the Grand Canyon. So, you know, I should go there. Well, we should go we? there, yeah, we, if we could make <laughs> it up the hill. It's amazing and same microwave. Yeah, I love this RV. It's awesome. Yeah, it, it's perfect yeah. for two people. It, it does the job. Mm -hmm. It keeps us comfortable. And if it's raining, you know, you're inside. You're yeah, you're inside. And, there, and there's just so much room inside this, yeah. I did put a surround sound on it also. Right there. We got two that are factory, I guess. Oh, right here. Yeah, that's where our two are. Yeah, and then yeah. The, behind those black uh, panels up there, mm -hmm. there's more speakers there. Oh, wow. Because the, the radio that I put in here, it's got a complete surround system for theater and jazz and concert wow. and all that. Wow, I that's like so bad. Yeah, no, that's that's cool. Yeah, we haven't, we, we're not, oh, I like your, I like your dummy. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. We're here with Manny. Debbie. And they're, are you full-time RVing? No, only part-time. Okay, you part-time. Ah. They have a very interesting rig. It's the owner's version of the same rig that I have. And they Hi. have a lot of neat stuff. They have outdoor speakers, it looks like, and um, some more storage compartments than I have. I love my rig. Do you, do you like it? Oh, I, I like it, man. I wouldn't, uh, the new rigs just don't do it for me like this one did. Yeah, they built this one pretty good. It's nice and thick and sturdy. Now, what are the things that you like about your rig? Mainly the floor plan was what sold me on this, especially the restroom. I realize that some people don't care, but when you go in there and you're able to turn around, I'm not that tall, but I got a, you know, about extra foot and a half of shower headroom. It's got a bubble top on the shower. Yep. So that makes it nicer. When you take a shower, you don't, you're not taking a shower like that, this. You know? That's what sold us on our rig, is yeah. that Jack and Jill bathroom, that walkthrough, yeah. because we use it as a changing room too. So yeah, when yeah, somebody's yeah, in the exactly. bedroom, right? Because we yeah. always we go with like either four people or three people, depending on which which little one I have with me. But we use it as a changing room, so you can go into that bathroom and change, and nobody's really bothering you, yeah. and people can be in the other room. So that's that's what sold us on ours. It has a partition that you can block off the bathroom too. So right. Yeah, that partition yeah. is nice because then you could still be back there. They could still use the bathroom. And they don't bother whoever's sleeping there. Right. You know, that, that, that makes it very nice. And also part of the flow plan that I liked on this was, what I saw there was that most of them had the bed up there. Well, I had a, about four other RVs with beds up on top and took the, uh, the families and took the kids and grandkids and all that. But now they're all grown up. They are asking me if I want to go camping with them. <laughs> oh wow okay yeah, so they're yeah. like okay so, so they, okay they learned enough camping to do that so this time i instead of having a bed up on top i put an entertainment center oh really yeah with a 32 okay. inch tv and a um, vhs and a dvd player okay and also installed a satellite system on it oh wow okay so we we bought ours out of a rental yard uh -huh. is our so none of my stuff matches all the nuts and bolts are different so I'm kind of duct taping things back together and trying to fix stuff. You bought yours brand new. Yeah. So can you tell me a little bit how you did that? It was a really interesting story. It's an interesting story. I went to the RV show in October, back in 2006, and I, I liked the thing, the, what we saw there. And being in the insurance industry, automotive insurance industry that I've been at, I took a picture of the VIN number of the motor home. Okay. And at the end of the deal on Sunday night before closing, I had to, you know, sign the contract to buy the motorhome. Well, they in turn wanted to, they thought that I was after that particular motorhome. And when I checked the VIN number, I said, no, I didn't want that. That's a used motorhome. Wow. Everybody has been in it and all that. So, no, I did not want that. I, you know, that's it. I, I, I'm not going to... So they said, well, it's going to take about a month, month and a half to make it. I said, that's okay. I already have an RV. So when I, when you do what you guys are ready, I'll go pick it up. So they tried to do a bait and switch yeah. on you guys yeah. without with switching VIN numbers. Yeah, exactly. Wow. <laughs> so I ended up I ended up going down there in the, for uh, almost in December, beginning of December, and got the motor home, and then I checked that everything that I wanted was 
the way that they had agreed to it and all that. And it had to be written. And, you know, they, they asked me, how come you're so particular? I said, I work for an insurance company. And okay. if you don't write it down, it never happened. Right. You know, that's how insurance good companies for, work. Good for you. So I ended up doing that. And uh, I was, ever since then, I've been very happy. The only upgrades I did, I put a dual... Uh, Poses uh, for the tires. Yep, I see that. So, that, I so do you that. have do mm -hmm. you have do all that, and then I basically switched the lights to LED lights in the back so they're brighter. Yep. And other than that, nothing else. Any solar know? on the roof? Uh, no, no, no solar. No solar. No. Okay, so you're oh, running off a generator. Yeah, off a generator. Okay. We put LED lights inside, so all the the That's light bulbs. That's my next step to do. Twelve bucks. Really? Yeah, on Amazon, it's super cheap and super easy. And yeah, we've been running the lights all night, and we barely use any power. And, uh, and that's the same bulb. Yeah, right? it's the it's same bulb. Yeah, I'll, I it's, actually it's, I have a couple in my rig. Yeah. So I'll bring them over, and you guys can have them. Oh, okay. Okay, Excellent. and then you put them in and, and try them out, and yeah. yeah. So. Boy, that's gonna light up our nights. That's gonna help, huh? <laughs> Save yeah. on some of that generator time. Yeah. So you've taken this rig all over the place. Where have you gone? The furthest we have gone, we went up to Oregon and right up to the border of Washington. Oh, wow. And we did this a couple of years ago, The basically the three of us towing a car. And we ended up going from, uh, we live in Simi Valley, so from Simi Valley we went to Sequoia National Park. Beautiful. Kings National Park. Then uh, Edison Lake. I don't know if you know where that is. Yeah, That's about the middle of the state there. Yeah, yeah. From Edison Lake we went up to... Uh, Mount Shasta. Yeah, see, that'd be gorgeous. Now, Mount Shasta at that time, that was the first year, this was in a, a year ago. Mount Shasta had just filled up with water. The oh, year before wow, that, it was, you could walk drought. across it. Yeah. So we did that there, and then we kept up on going into different campgrounds. You know, we would do it on the fly, no reservations, just call and, hey, do you have our space? Yeah. Is it dry too? Yeah. And we did that, and then we kept going like that all the way into uh, Oregon like that. And this this being a 33-foot rig, I'm sure you find it a lot easier to get into campsites than, yeah, than yeah, some exactly. of the other ones. Yeah. Friends of mine that I have have a fifth wheel that are 42 feet long, but they're not allowed in a lot of campsites because it's extremely long. You know? Right. And then we also, on the way back, we ended up coming down the coast. Oh, wow. We went all the way to the coast from Oregon. Back to Slimy Valley again. What, Slimy Valley. Where did you? <laughs> <laughs> where Where did you? Here. Yeah, where? from Oregon we came here. To meet Tony. Yeah, we met and here with my here. son. Okay. We, and we Never even would. stopped at the, you know along the way the campgrounds. The yeah, last what camp, one. What campgrounds did you hit on your way? Because I'm curious. This one. You drove all the way from Oregon to this campsite. No, no, no. We stopped. You had to stop at, we stopped between. at Pismo oh, Beach. Okay. Was the last one. Okay. And then okay. any and then the, by the aquarium of the Pacific. In Long Beach? No, no, no. In uh, in uh, Monterey Bay. Monterey Bay. Okay, There's yeah. campgrounds there, you know. Yep. So we would do about two, three hundred miles a day, look for a campground, and then kick back and relax. And the way I like to do it is get to the campground, set up, and then what do we do? We have a car behind the motorhome, unhook it, let's go see, let's go do, let's go do. You know, with a car, it's so much more easy. Yeah, it sure Once is. Once you do that, then you you're able to do that. So we saw a lot of places and then I would ask her, you want to stay here another night? This looks good. We, you know, we don't stay, have yeah. no job to go to. And yeah. says, yeah, it's okay. Let's stay one more night. See, when you bought this motorhome, you did it right because you have the B10. Right. A 450. So you bought this brand new. What, what, is, what do you think of the build quality of these? This was good. Well, I'm the type of person that does research on research. Yes. So she's <laughs> <laughs> I don't just go, oh, okay, I like this one and buy it. No. I research and are the panels put together with glue? Are they using what kind of wood? What kind of screws? You know, all that factory thing. And if I could go to the factory and look at it, that's how I like to have mine built. Yeah, these I were built this, Riverside. Yeah. Yeah. I couldn't go there because of work, but when I did buy a boat back in 95, I went in basically show how they were putting it together before i said okay i'll buy one of this okay well thank you very hey, much for inviting pleasure, me into your home my this pleasure. is this is an amazing this is and it's so much nicer and it's good it's in like awesome shape i'm jealous
You know what they say, right? Yeah. Have happy wife. Happy, happy life. life. Yeah. 